Harry <laughs> Sheffier was halfway to the roof when he hit that. Look at this, look how high that was. And the block, nowhere near it. Alonso and Algarejo. Between them had absolutely no chance. So Duran maintaining this splendid lead. Give him a little bit of breathing space. He may well have done that as Lopez has made a mess of it. Gutierrez has managed to recycle that, and that's cruel. It's also brilliant. Maru, <laughs> absolutely dazzling. He knew exactly what he was doing there. Just dropped it in from an outrageous angle. So, Nicholas Coffini has to take a timeout as this third set starts to get away. And you just have to admire the artistry of Maru. And again, you have to admire defensive work of the Cubans as well. Scrambled around after Lopez missing out there. Garcia wouldn't give it up. That's a tremendous dig. And then Maru said, oh look, there's a big space there. Player relaxed reactions will usually give it away. And there was no reaction from the Iranians. Now, interestingly, they bring in Javier Concepcion, their middle blocker, who has been so strong defensively for them. And it's their setter, Goida, that sits down. They need another point here to level it up. They're not going to get it. Oh, they do get it. The cross court from Manavi has gone the wrong side of the line. That's not one you'd expect Manavi to miss. It really isn't. And Iran's lead is gone, and he looks furious. They're going to have another look at this one as well. Well, the call was that it was out. Now, Kalakovic had a really good view on this one as well. This is a huge call. If it goes against Iran, they're out of challenges for this set. Net touch. They're not questioning whether it was out, they're questioning whether it was. So it was Neil Melgarejo then. Serving at 19 21. Picked up by Manavi. Finished by Manavi. And Iran grinding their way. 
the 25 points. Mohamed Hazratpour, the teenage libero for Iran, comes in. Iran leading by three and needing three more points. One hit, one there. Manavi goes long. And Yat is going to make an appearance, the 17-year-old for Cuba. As Alonso drops back, Lopez comes out. Now the teenage number three, Yant, will take his place in the lineup for the first time in this match for Cuba. Kept alive by Asuria. Lovely cross court, but it doesn't get a point because Manavi was there. And then Gafour. Denied by Alonso. Goyd has kept it alive. And did it take a touch on the way through? No. What a chance. That's an opportunity missed. Well, they seem to have done all the hard work. And Gutierrez is the man you'll bank on. No touch there. Nowhere near a touch. Now it goes Sayed to be replaced by Mohamed Bardi in the lineup, who will go to the server position, the backup setter. Timeout is called at 23.20. Now Vardy will serve. Here comes Lopez. Too good for the block. Uh, no way anybody in the backcourt was going to be able to respond to that. Now it's dropped nicely behind the block from the Cuban perspective. But they do need points on serve. They need them very quickly indeed. Vardy sits back down after his serve. Maruf comes back in. Goida, the Cuban setter. Maruf sets up nicely, but Shafia is denied. And Lopez is denied as well. Maruf with the reverse. Gafour denied. Gutierrez picks that one up. Lopez blocked out of it. Falls nicely for Goida. Now the cross court is eventually won by Gutierrez and Cuba just won't go away. Really patient, poised point that. Really good rally. And now Kalakovic has to call a timeout. As Cuba have pulled this to within one. One serve away from leveling this one up. Well, it's been an absorbing third set, completely different to the first two, which uh, were dominated first by Cuba, then by Iran. They weren't competitive at all. This one has been a nail chewer pretty much from the start, and it's still not resolved. If Goida can find a special serve here, the Cubans could pull level. If they don't, it's going to be set point, and it is set point after the Ali Chaffier spike. Straight down the middle. That serve really didn't give Cuba much of a chance at anything. So here is Maruf, serving to put this third set to bed. Now, Melgarejo has made a mess of it. A serve from Maruf to wrap it up. And they fell behind early. But they fall back to take a lead here. Iran taking that third set, 25-22, and it's disappointing way for the set to end as well, with uh, Osniel Melgarejo making a mess of a pretty routine serve, it has to be said, from Maruf. And you just wonder if Cuba's best is now in the past as far as this match is concerned. And maybe Iran will go on to wrap this up in three to secure, or rather in four, to secure the three points. Remember, if it goes 3-2, you don't get three points. The winning team will get two, and the losing team will get one. And here's a look at that final act. They'll never beat you with power. You can bamboozle you with guile, and there was a bit of movement there, just enough 
to confuse Mel Garejo. That was it. So, 